Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our horror tutorial series. Uh, I made a video previous to this, and it was a complete like, shamble. So I've just spent a bit of time trying to figure out everything that I need to do. Um, so I'm going to explain through everything I've done so far, and then we're going to see it all working in action because I, I'm not going to delete everything and fuck it up again. <laughs> so. We had our characters, so when we when we did last time, we set up our characters, we set up all our animations and things like that, uh, and then we left it at that. So, I've op currently got open our trigger box that we created as well last time. We're going to ignore this for a second, purely because um, this isn't actually working at the moment. Um, I have actually put it in the world. It is here. I can click on it you'll see the mounds so I've made it almost quite big but I'm gonna make it smaller when we get it working um, the next thing I did so I tried to basically set up an AI move to um, with different things and it didn't work so I've done a bit of research I've gone back looked at my mistakes um, and this is where I'm at to now so you want to in your in your place actors node up here you want to type in target point you can drag one of these out into the world I've put one here just in front of the door I might need to move that over just ever so slightly and move it back a bit um, uh, and then what will happen is this will be our location now if you wanted to set up the event that we're setting up now and then after about sort of 10 seconds have this dog kind of patrol up and down the gates you would use more of these trigger points essentially um so we, i mean we might do that but we'll, we'll, let's just try and get things working first shall we so the next thing you need to do is open up your bar guest bp or whatever you called it uh for this is the jump scare i tried to get working in the trigger box where we'll come back to that and have a look at that again but for now let's just do the event begin play uh, then what you want to do is come down and do an AI move to literally it should come straight up if you put in uh, there it is right at the bottom there the AI move to there um, and then you want to make a reference to self now how you do that is you drag it out and you just go uh, self and it says get a reference to self so that will sort you out there uh, and then what you want to do is you want to create a variable I'm going to make the next one so but you want to call yours uh, target point one Call it target point two, and then just set it to be a target point. But what's very important is that you make it instance editable. I always click expose on spawn as well, uh, just to be safe, but instance editable must be clicked on, okay? And you'll see why in a minute. Uh, I've added this, but I haven't done anything with that yet. We'll come to that in a minute. Uh, so add your target point to your target actor, and then just compile it. What this should now do is you'll see it happen before we actually get there, but he comes to the gate. Okay, there he is, our scary boy. But he's not in his idle form, he's not doing anything. Oh, he is in his idle form, sorry. Um, but he gets there a bit quick, okay? So, but that's great, it's working, right? So, better than what I did in my last video. I'm not going to publish that video, so I apologize. Uh, it was a lot of wasting time, and, and you wouldn't have learned anything anyway. So,. Here he is at our gate, so that's essentially going to be like, whoa, shit, oh my god, what the fuck, and then you're going to, like, run off, right? Cool. Um, now, let's just have a look at our, the, uh, let's just duplicate this up, sorry. Right. Okay, so now, the way you get that, sorry, I've missed one bit is actually connecting that up to the target point. If you click on your doggo, come down to here, it'll have target point one, and you just make that your first target point. Um, and then you have your second target point okay so now what should happen is without any delay he should go to that one well he won't because I actually haven't set up the second one but what you, I'll show you what you could do uh, to set that up so all you do is you come back into your bar grass, delete out that play animation you would literally I'd put in a delay of maybe like two or three seconds um, and then you could have it the you, you you basically just copy this all of these three nodes into the next area and you would just put your target point two in uh and that's how he you'd get your doggo to go to the second point uh so now that that's working well, the next thing we want to do now is look at the animation to try and get him to jump uh jump bite i'm going to delete that because we don't need it for now uh yeah that's fine 
that's okay. It just means that'll set that back to none. Um, so we want to go into, so we want to stay within our bar guest files. Um, we want to open up the animations pack and we want to find that wherever he was, the, the jump bite, jump bite aggressive. Let's see what that looks like. Right. I think that's going to be good. Uh, so go back into this and you want to right click. You want to come on up to the create and you want to create an anim montage. Click on that. You can call it whatever you want, whatever's easiest. I mean, to be honest, if you put in um, jump bite aggressive, it's going to come up anyway next to the normal one. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Come back into your bar guest BP. Select this and it's already there. There you go. Um, you want to set the play rate. I mean, that's going to be how quick it, it attacks, but I mean, we might not see it if we press play thinking about it. And he, he didn't even do it. Fair enough. Well, why? Why would you not do it? Uh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Why? Uh, why didn't you play? I'm just gonna add in a delay, just to see if I can trigger it that way. Uh, let's put you in there as well. Yeah, 0 0.2 seconds fine. Let's see if that works. Interesting. He's got his growl on. Well, he's idle. Hmm. Very peculiar. Okay. Um. Let's just open up that thing. I want to see how long it is. See if that's what the issue lies. Whoa, 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 everybody calm down, god damn. Uh, it literally is a second attack, right? Oh, okay. So I've upped it to, what did I put to? Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, let's make it like 1.2, I guess. Just see, target is character. Yep, it should be right, actually. Hmm, interesting. So he comes, he definitely comes to the gate, he just doesn't do the actual, uh, actual attack. Hmm. Play montage, maybe? No, that, seem, that doesn't seem right. Right, play. Seems to be the only option we have. I'm just not sure why it's not actually. Uh, what's that do? Hmm. Well, that's looking more for like a widget. No, I don't think that's right. I think this is the right thing. In honesty, let's get a reference to self just to add it to there, just so it knows. I also have a feeling there it didn't use his um his other animation. Hmm. Not great, but there we go. Okay, well, either way, this is working, right? So, the next thing to do now is to plug it into our custom event. <coughs> At least we know this bit's working, which is the most important for the moment. Um, now, it's definitely gonna be broken, I think, but let's just go in here and see what happens. So, it's, so I've got my little thing up there that just said yes, that told me 
the trigger box has picked up on me. What it's not doing now is uh, playing this. So, so it's picked up on me. It said yes. Okay, I've asked it. Oh, it's not connected. Right, let's try. It. Let's try again. See what happens now. Right. Wow. He's still not coming. Uh, we have got this error up here. Max is none trying to read property Vargas. Why are you not trying to read it? Okay. Hmm. Let's just get rid of that and see what this does. Because we know the jump scare is working now, right? So. That shouldn't be the issue. You're still not coming up, bloody. But why aren't you trying to read it? Why are you ignoring that? That's what I don't understand. Hmm. Uh, this blueprint itself is not a Vargas C, therefore Target must have a connection. Okay. Hmm. I'll try one thing. On event play. No, sorry. On begin event. No. Oh, there we go. Event begin play. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, we're gonna cast to our barg hast. And then we're gonna we're gonna add that into there straight off the bat. I think I need to get owner, maybe yeah, actor owner, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then this doesn't need to actually do anything else. So let's see if that jogs it. It probably won't. No, but it is still picking up on that. Yes, I'm there. Oh, now I've got two errors. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Alright, get rid of that. We know we know it's picking up on the third person code, we don't need that anymore. Cast to No. Um Hmm. See so this is where I'm stumped. We know it's working, we know that the 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 doggo will walk up there at the start but it's not scary enough in the sense that if I see that coming up to the gate I just it's not going to do anything to me you know so we need it to be closer than it is but I just can't seem to get it to trigger through the trigger box through the collision box sorry hmm I almost feel like I need a branch but I'm not sure what I'd branch for You know, so it's like it's, it's cast a thing, but it's like it feels like it should be like asking a question, you know, like, um, um, ah, uh, shit, that's where my brain's gone now. Um, okay. So we know this works, this works, but for some reason this just isn't being picked up. And it's like this isn't, it's like it shouldn't matter, but it does matter because it's not doing, it's not activating it, you know? I kind of need to know why. And it does need to be, a, it kind of technically needs to be a custom event. The only other thing I can think of is um, putting in 
which I really don't want to do, I really, really don't want to do, is um, put in a, a collision box on the AI and then move the collision box to where it needs to be, but then I think that's a bit overkill, really. I know I can make it move. Okay, forget the end of montage for now. I know I can make it move from point to point. But I don't want that to start until my player hits a certain spot. So what would I normally do? Oh, God. This is really racking your brain. It's been a while since I've had to do one of these. Um, let's just see if that works. I don't know if that will. No. Yeah, still trying to uh, fail the cast. Uh, if it's true, well, let's try this instead then. If true, cast this man who will do that, right? Then we don't need to do anything at the begin play, I guess, right? Hmm. Interesting. Still not doing anything. Okay. Oh, I've got rid of the print string, that's why. So, no errors this time, though. So that's kind of interesting. So it's kind of accepted that. But what it's not doing is running this jump. It's not running this for whatever reason. Yeah, because the branch is obviously set, it's fine, the, the branch is set to true. So it's like, okay, well, we'll, and as I've always set it to true, it will always follow up here, right? And it's obviously casting to, to Bargast fine. There's obviously no issue with that. So my final thing is, is why is it not executing that node? Why are you not executing that node? Hmm. I mean, I could just put delay. I, I mean, I could just do a vending and start delay ten seconds and then have it start. But that your player is not always necessarily going to go up to that gate. So you want it done by a trigger box, really. Hmm. Um. I got a small idea. Cast to cast to bar guest trigger blueprint. Um, then I want to do a branch. Um. Get uh, owner, get actor owner. Um, my step new variable is in box. I'll set that to a boolean. I wonder if I can do... No, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, um... No. I don't think that's going to work either. Okay, so there's still some bits I need to work out on this. Um, I'm going to go away and do that. We'll do some other stuff in the meantime, like adding in sounds and um, other things. Uh, we also need to add the rain out here as well still, and some street lamps, things like that. And we also just need to build our third area. So uh, we've got lots still to do, so I'm going to leave this jump scare for now until I figure it out, and then I'll come back and do another episode. Um, part three, I guess. 
on actually getting it physically working through the trigger box. If anyone has any ideas though, feel free to put them in the comments. I'm more than happy to hear your thoughts and your, your how we could get it working. Um, but thank you so much guys. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.